بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اللهم صل وسلم على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد in the name of Allah the exalted and the most gracious all praises for Allah then I ask Allah, the Exalted, to send peace and blessings upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad and whoever follows Prophet Muhammad in good deeds until the day of resurrection. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. In this sitting for tonight, we're going to talk about a topic that is overwhelming, that is important, that is significant for each and every Muslim in this age and time. This topic is related to sustaining from things. This topic is related to Refraining from things. The topic for today is patience. Are you patient in this time? Are you striving to be from amongst the patient ones? Now in this setting, we're going to speak about different topics related to patience. The first edge is Patient, which is a controlling force. Second, what is patience in Islam? The third, the importance of patience in Islam. The fourth, gratitude, shukr. The fifth, patience is Allah. Patient is Allah's test for men. The sixth, to sacrifice our best. The seventh, a way of seeking forgiveness. And if there's any time left, we're going to go to the eighth topic, which is Allah helps as-sabirin, the patient ones. So I do hope that we go through all these eight segments in the major topic of patience. Bismillah. Patience, a controlling force. It is true that all the virtues that a man possess, patient is the most difficult and resilient one, but, and at the same time, it's an important virtue. It is hard to have patience, but those who have this virtue are distinctive from others. Therefore, it is, it is significant and essential to understand what exactly patience is that distinguishes man's personality and characters from others. What is patient in Islam? Patience means to abstain, forbear, and refrain from all that is not good. For example, what? Drinking alcohol. But biting your Muslim brother and say it's, it's out of having fun. Trying to split two friends and say you're doing something good. Telling lies for your own personal feelings or needs. Let's move on. No doubt, it is very difficult because it demands a lot of endurance, 
particularly in daring and grave situations. It is a restraining force that abstain man from all that was forbidden. It is natural that a man was inclined towards desires. Also, the wrong and the desirous things that one could engage in. But this force restrains and keeps the man from all these forbidden actions. People who have less of this force easily fall prey to aggression, haste reactions, anger, and all other negative attributes that mankind is known for. The next topic or segment, the importance of patience in Islam. We need to have a look into the Islamic perspective and perceive what patience is according to the Islamic legislation and how to implement this characteristics in or characteristic in our daily lifestyle. It is noteworthy that Islam delines all the diverse and broader aspects of patience in all its form. According to Islam, patience is one of the path of winning Allah's will and happiness. Allah says in his Quran, and obey Allah and his messenger and fall not into dispute lest you lose heart and your power departs and be patient and persevering for Allah is with those who patiently persevere chapter al-anfal al -Anfal. gratitude shukr in Islam, the complementary term to patience, sabr, is gratitude or gratefulness. Are we grateful? Are we trying to reach that level of gratefulness? Be, great, be grateful to Almighty Allah and be contented with what He has ordained for you in your life. Without any complaint, shakwa, for such an outstanding, patient believer, the Prophet Sallallahu has said in his regard, how wonderful is the case of the believer. There is good for him in everything, and this applies for only the believer. If prosperity attends him, he expresses Gratitude to Allah, the exalted, and that is good for him. And if diversity befalls him, something bad, he endures it patiently, and that is better for him. This is in Bukhari. Now, if we put this explanation in our daily lifestyle, Say, for example, we intend to do something in our life. For example, buy a car. What should we do first? We should pray Salat al-Istikhara. The Prophet wasalam, used to teach his companions to pray Istikhara for all matters in their lives. What's the importance of al-Istikhara? In Istikhara, you're asking Allah for his help and guidance through your so so for your future intended activities. You never can tell if it's good for you, but Allah knows. So pray in istikhara and asking Allah to treat you in the best form by allowing you to choose what is more appropriate for your lifestyle. Now say for example you pray istikhara and you attempt to complete a certain action. It didn't go for you. It didn't go the way you wanted to do. And that path was made difficult. For the believer, according to this hadith, 
you should not be swearing or being angered at the Qadr, what Allah has decreed for you. You should be patient in this situation and know that you weren't able to buy the car because Allah knows that if you had bought the car, things would have gone wrong in your life. So you have to have that firm faith in your Lord and know that He chose for you what's more appropriate and sufficient for your case. So keep this in mind and never be angry at Qadr. Patient is Allah's test for men to endure hardship, obstacles and affliction coming from incidents and hard experience of life. One must take it as a test from the Most High Allah because he tests men's patience by putting him in grim situation. Allah has said in his Quran, be sure we shall test you with something of fear and anger, fear and hunger, some loss of goods or lives or the fruits of your toil. But give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere. Al-Baqarah. To sacrifice our best. It's natural that a man suffers a lot when he loses his loved ones. For example, his son. All he, all his world seemed to be lost when this tragedy afflicts him. Life doesn't seem to find any meaning after this event. So the hardest and most aspect of patience is to offer or to give sacrifice to one's beloved uh, loved ones whether son and all precious and other things that are related or important into one's life and the best of man has for Allah's sake and will and yet not complain so through all the affliction that occurs in your life whether the loss of a son or a daughter or even a mother you should never complain and be angry for what has afflicted you. You should be patient because Allah is the one that decrees what happens in your life. And know that Allah is more merciful upon you than your mother is. And this is the understanding which is taken from a hadith of the Prophet in this regards, following hadith is of a great significance. Abu Huraira related, the messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi said, And the exalted say, I have no reward other than gender for a beloved slave of mine who remains patient for my sake. When I take away his beloved one from among the inhabitants of the world. Al Bukhari. Allah has this presented this situation to his prophets as well to test their patience. So keep these this hadith in mind when you lose a close one, whether your son or your brother. A way of seeking forgiveness. It was noted that if one wants to seek forgiveness and the reward from his Lord, one must have patience so that he was freed or is freed from this sin. Allah says in the Quran, not, no, not so do those who show patience and constancy and work righteousness for them is forgiveness. Of sins and a great reward. Surah Al Hud. In this respect, Abu Sa'ad and Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with them, reported that the Prophet said, Never a believer 
was stricken with a discomfort, an illness, an anxiety, grief, or mental work, wor worry, or even a pricking of thorn. But Allah expiates his sin on the account of his patient. Account of his patience. And this is in Book of Bukhari and Muslim. So, we're going to stop here in this setting of the topic of patience. Please tune in for other lessons regarding this significant topic of patience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Mm -hmm.